All right, everybody, it's Teresa Woodard once again from the WFAA studios, and there it is. So that is a live look at Air Force One coming in from the south towards the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth. We all better know it as JRB uh, Air Force One landing there momentarily. Adriana de Alba has been live there on the ground, and she told us about 15, 20 minutes ago that the plane was about 15 or 20 minutes out. Amazing how accurate they can be <laughs> in a situation like this. Uh, but let's continue to just take a live look at Air Force One as it is landing. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever had the pleasure of seeing Air Force One in person. Um, I have as a journalist, and let me tell you, that is one huge aircraft. <laughs> and so as it lands, you can kind of get a get an idea of just uh, how large it is. And of course, uh, when the president is landing in uh, North Texas, you can imagine also that um, the airspace is cleared and uh, there's cur certainly uh, sort of a, a hold on, on uh, traffic in and around uh, JRB as well uh, for safety reasons. And so, um, you can see there, oh, it looks like our, our picture just froze for a second, uh, but that was Air Force One landing at JRB in Houston. There, there it is, we've, we've reconnected. Um, again, see the size of Air Force One there. Adriana was telling us earlier that on board the plane with President Biden this afternoon is uh, Dallas Congressman Colin Allred, a Democrat, uh, Mark B.C., whose district covers Dallas and Fort Worth, also a Democrat, and Jake Elzey, who is a Republican. But Jake Elzey is a veteran, and the focus of the president's trip to North Texas today is veterans. Um, Adriana, I don't know if you can hear me, if you can maybe jump in here, but can you tell us a little bit more about why the president is coming here and the message that he hopes to, to take to veterans and maybe bring back to Washington, D.C. About, about this issue? Yes, Teresa, I'm just kind of in the background, you know, we want to see Air Force One and Absolutely. not me, but I'll yes. talk uh, yes. behind just, this. Just keep talking so, while, um, while we look at the plane. And by yes. the way, <laughs> and it's my first time seeing it and it is massive. It but is, isn't it? Back yes. to your question. Yes. So unity really is the message and that's the name of his four point agenda. And, uh, you know, Vet, the veterans issue is among those four points and it's something that you know he hopes uh, Republicans and Democrats can get behind you know he talked about this during his State of the Union speech last week um, he talked about how personal this is for him because as you know Bo his son who passed away of brain cancer served in Iraq uh, he lived near a burn pit uh, and, you know, the president said he's not sure if the brain cancer was tied to that, but he lost his son. It's something that he has spoken about openly. Uh, he talked about the veterans issue during his campaign, and now he's here at Fort Worth a week after uh, delivering that speech and saying that it's time to focus on our veterans who are uh, who are deployed, uh, they deal with these conditions uh, wherever they are sent, and oftentimes they return uh, with un unhealthy conditions, and he wants to make them a priority. And so that's what he's here to do today. It's very loud. I hope you can still hear me. And yes, um, yes, we can He's going to connect with veterans. Yeah, those, those burn pits, as you mentioned, um, people a little bit of a definition of what a burn pit is. Uh, those bases in Iraq and Afghanistan, U.S. military bases, a burn pit is where they burn their trash. And unfortunately, over time, we've learned they can let off toxic smoke. And that toxic smoke, breathing that in, has led to serious health issues for some of our veterans. I was mentioning earlier that that is the focus of our latest Yolitics podcast that dropped in the last couple of days, talking to a veteran who suffers from the exposure he had to burn pits. Um, that veteran told us that 31,000 Texans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan came home with those serious health problems, as Adriana was talking about, that are connected to inhaling that smoke. Um, as Adriana said, the president talked about this at the State of the Union address last week. and. Um, now this is his chance to sort of take that message on the road. Um, it's interesting that he has chosen Fort Worth as a site to, to, to talk about this. Um, 
last week during the Texas primary, we talked about sort of how Tarrant County seemed to be getting such attention from both sides of the aisle. Uh, Governor Abbott on Wednesday after winning the Republican primary on Tuesday came to Tarrant County. Beto O'Rourke, the Democratic nominee for governor in Texas, he chose Fort Worth as the site of his watch party on Tuesday night. So it is interesting that, that Tarrant County seems to be getting a lot of attention from both Republicans and Democrats. Unsure if, if, if politics plays into why, why he, uh, the president chose Fort Worth as the location for this, but Tarrant County has, has uh, been a purple county uh, in the last, uh, in 2018 and in 2020 for President Biden. Um, so, it, it, you know, some of that could be at play. But again, uh, he does have two Democratic congressmen from Dallas on board with him, uh, Congressman Colin Allred, Congressman Mark Vesey, whose district also stretches into part of Tarrant County, and then Congressman Jake Elzey, who is a Republican. Uh, his district has been redrawn a little bit, but it had included Arlington and on down uh, south. And uh, Jake Elzey is a veteran, so clearly this issue, um, and Colin Allred is a veteran as well. So this issue is about uh, bipartisanship. So you can see there, you can see there some um, members of the military who uh, I presume these people are probably based uh, at JRB uh, lining up. At some point we will see stairs being rolled over to the door uh, and then usually we see some of the um, staff members maybe run down quickly, a photographer maybe run down in order to kind of get in place before the president comes down and then uh, those are the stairs. You're probably familiar. You have seen many a president come up and down the stairs uh, from Air Force One there. I, I don't know if you can see, get, get a good sense of the size there, but look at that person that's under, underneath the plane. And then you can see just how large Air Force One is. Adriana was just talking to us and telling us that this is her first time to see it in person. And uh, until you've seen it, you really don't have a, a good idea of just the size of it, but it is a, a massive aircraft, most definitely. So again, you see those stairs being rolled into place, and then you see some members of uh, the military. As I said, I am making the assumption that those are people who are based at uh, JRB who are moving into place um, who will be down uh, to greet the president as he moves in. There you see the two presidential limousines. Um, and there are always two on a presidential trip uh, because the Secret Service makes it so uh, for safety reasons. That way anyone who is watching the motorcade uh, would not know exactly which one, exactly which limousine the president is in. We expect it uh, to be a short ride in that motorcade from JRB to the VA clinic where he will speak first. It's about 15 miles or so. Uh, and then he will be at the VA clinic for a while and then head over to Tarrant County Resource Connection. It's basically sort of in the same campus as the VA clinic. Uh, Tarrant County Resource Connection is, I guess you could call it like a one-stop shop for um, health, employment services, education services, not just for veterans, but, but for all in Tarrant County. Uh, I will say I um, hate to make assumptions about who I'm seeing there on the ground. From the camera, sometimes it's difficult. Adriana, I don't know if you have a better angle, but it looks yes. to me like that is Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley. And is that Fort Worth Mayor Maddie Parker with him? It is, yes. On the left there, uh, you see uh, Fort Worth Mayor Maddie Parker. Uh, she's wearing a green skirt and to her right, Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley, he's turning around. Yes. And then members of the military are surrounding. They are getting ready to greet President Biden as he uh, comes down, makes his way down those steps. But uh, we talked about the size of Air Force One, and I am just stunned, right. Teresa, because <laughs> it is I know. bigger than you can imagine. Yeah. Um, it, it really is large. Uh, Adriana, I want to get I'm, back to... Uh, I'm glad you're getting the opportunity to see it in person because really, as a journalist, you, you, uh, you see these things, you cover these things from afar, but once you see it in person, it really sort of takes your breath away a little bit, no matter who's on board, no matter, no matter which president is on board. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those things that, you know, it's kind of like you have a front row seat mm -hmm. uh, to these great experiences. Like you said, no matter who is president, uh, this is something pretty remarkable to see. Uh, but I want to get back to uh, the State of the Union speech last week when, uh, you know, Biden is here. He's visiting 
talking about the issue of protecting our veterans, and he just said last week, veterans are the backbone and the spine of this country. And he talked about that one of the big dangers that our troops face is breathing in uh, toxic smoke from these burn pits. Uh, President Biden, he has been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan more than 40 times. And, you know, he talked passionately about this issue and how these hazardous materials like jet fuel, etc., uh, can be really harmful to our troops. And oftentimes when they return, they're never the same. And so that is why the president is here today hoping to push for more comprehensive health care protections for our veterans and just talking about this issue of the burn pits in particular. Uh, and we talked about the unity agenda, the four point unity agenda that he introduced last week. And this is something that he hopes everybody can get behind when we talk about those who serve this country. And so Fort Worth is the place that he decided to come and do it today. Absolutely. And you know, you make a very good point, Adriana. The, these are issues that veterans face that are not necessarily visible to the naked eye. And I think it's always important for Americans to remember that because we can potentially see uh, a veteran who was injured, um, you know, by an IED or by some sort of a gunfire or a bomb. But when you are injured by a burn pit, that might be something that is not visible. And there and is Teresa. President Biden. He just there emerged. He is. Yes, absolutely. And did you notice he had his mask on and then he removed his mask as soon as he walked out that door? So you can see him there descending the stairs. Saluting. Walking over, and it looks like he is speaking first to Fort Worth Mayor Maddie Parker and Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley. Both Mayor Parker and Judge Whitley are Republicans. What I wouldn't give to know exactly what conversation they are having right now. Potentially we could find out a little bit more, but you always wonder if politicians will give you exactly the play-by-play -play of everything that they've discussed. And there you see those Congress, uh, members of Congress that Adriana had told us would be on the plane uh, with the President. You see Congressman Mark Vesey, you see Congressman Jake Elsey, and Congressman Colin Allred. Uh, there is a fourth person right there with uh, with that delegation. Adriana, do we know who that person behind uh, Colin Allred might be? I'm not. I'm not sure, Teresa. Yeah, it's. I, I don't ever want to make assumptions uh, about about. It's it's diff right. diff difficult from a distance. Uh, so we know that he did descend the stairs with uh, the members of Congress as well. And you can see the president there speaking, uh, holding hands as he is uh, talking to the members of the military. Again, I, I make the assumption that these are men and women who are based there at uh, JRB. We call it JRB. It is the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth. Uh, that's just a bit of a mouthful, and so the, the, the common way to refer to it is JRB. See, the president made made his way back uh, towards the, the front of that line again. posing for a photo here, it looks like.
as we continue to watch uh, the president's arrival here and sort of the, the group of people taking pictures with him, we just got a very interesting piece of information into the WFAA newsroom. We, over the course of the last few weeks and really more than a year, have been covering the case of Trevor Reed, a, a young man who uh, had visited his girlfriend in Russia and is now wrongfully imprisoned. Trevor had been a United States Marine. Uh, he even at one point in time worked on the presidential detail. Uh, he is wrongfully imprisoned in Russia, serving a sentence of nine years uh, over an assault, a, an alleged assault against police officers that even the U.S. government has said was a, an absurd case. Uh, his family had been working to try to secure a face-to-face -face meeting with the president during this visit. They told us yesterday that the White House had denied that request. Uh, in route to Fort Worth, we just got this information, uh, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said uh, they are working on scheduling a time for face-to-face -face meeting with the president.